road. Yeah, I'm in the right location for this bike. The challenge of doing this was a lot of fun and learning from it was a lot of fun. And as you've seen a little bit, the ABS wheel sensor light will come on again. And you'll see the moment that it comes on. And the wire for the wheel speed sensor came loose. And right here, you can see the ABS light came on again. What happened was the wire rubbed against the rear wheel and it rubbed a hole and destroyed the wires. So the wheel speed sensor became useless. This is just over a week into my trip and for the rest of the trip, I did not have ABS at all. So let me take you around to the other side of the bike and show you what happened to the wheel speed sensor. So let me show you this first. Right here, this piece, this is the wheel speed sensor. So this is the new one that I bought off of eBay. So this will sit here, something like this. What will happen is it will wrap around here, underneath the swing arm, and then wrap around here. And it's connected here to the brake line, and then wraps around here. So now I got the cover off and the wire then extends on the other side of the frame here and take off the fuse pack here and then it gets connected inside here to the brain of the computer. So when I replace it with this one, I'll just have to wrap that wire around here and make sure I have it tied up well enough so it doesn't connect with the wheel here. I'll show you what happened. So the wheel here, how it just rubbed away so deep that it just stopped working. Power couldn't go through, couldn't communicate with the computer, and therefore no more ABS. So when I replace this, I'll have to take the rear wheel off, take the old one off, unplug it, put the new one on. Just like when I did when I replaced the tires for these new Bridgestone Battle Cruise H50s. So yeah, I mean, that's what I have to do. It's a huge pain in the butt to take off that rear wheel. But to have my ABS back, which I paid an extra $800 for to get on this bike, it's really worth it. I had to pay an extra $30 to get a new wheel speed sensor and I'll have to take off my rear wheel. That's a small price to pay for my stupidity for letting that wire slip down like that on that dirt road.
many of you saw how in one of my videos on the Route 66 trip, how my ABS stopped working and that light came on. But now, the light is out and the ABS is working. Oh, this feels good, guys. Holy shit, it's been so fucking long. My ABS works again. And the only thing I had to do was buy a used one off of eBay for 30 bucks. 35 actually, I think. And replace it myself. Just had a little bit of work. If I would have taken that to a dealership or a motorcycle repair shop, it would have cost me a lot more. In the hundreds of dollars, I'm sure. 